everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So today is Monday the 15th of October and we get our keys to our new house on Friday. So I thought I would just kind of check in and do a little update on what's been happening and when we move in, which has just been done now. <laughs> and also give you a little haul of some stuff that I've got for moving. So we had to get all new bedding for Ella. She is due to get a new bed, which is a double. <laughs> she really wanted a, what do you call it again? A set of bunk beds, but we decided to get a double instead because I think it's like another bed to make so it's just easier. So I went and got some new bedding, I've also got like a new duvet, I need to get her a new mattress and we've also got some new stuff for us as well so I thought it would just be easier to do this as a kind of vlog style. I've just laid everything out that we've got. I got a few bargains in there as well so I'm going to kind of go through where everything's from, how much it costs and like the names of stuff as well in case you fancy getting something similar. This is probably mostly like Ella's because <laughs> she had to get like a whole load of new stuff and then we've got ours over here as well and then a bedding set for Charlie too. The first thing I'm going to show you is this duvet set. So the reason why I like this is because sometimes I think it's easier just to have plain white bedding but Fraser and I have got a plain white bedding set as well and I think that because they're quite a similar size, this is a double and then the other one's a king size. I thought I need to get something that looks a little bit different from ours so we can tell the difference when we're like trying to put them on the sheets and stuff. So this one here, it comes with the pillowcases and the duvet cover as well. It was £20 and it's got this lovely frill on it. I think you can see it better on the little picture on the cover. So it's just plain white. I just thought it was really nice with the frill on it, quite girly, but really easy to manage and clean. And that was £20. And then on a separate shop, I got this little fitted sheet. Um, it was really cheap, actually. It was only £6.50, which I think is quite a decent price for this. And I liked it because it was printed, just something a wee bit different. And again, just so that I could tell the difference between Ella's one and our one. So I've got that. I've also got one of these super soft mattress protectors, which was six fifty. On here it says it's six fifty, but it was actually less. I think it might have been a fiver. And um, they had a whole kind of big sale on their bedding and homeware when I was in. I don't know if it's still on because this was maybe about three or four weeks ago that I got this. So yeah. Anyway, mattress protector because that's always really good to have. So that's a double as well. And then I've got one, two, three, four of these packs of two super soft pillow protectors. It's made in the same material as the mattress protector as well. It says four pounds, but these were actually about 2.75, I think. So these were also on sale. I'm not quite sure why. I think they might be bringing out a new range or something. So I got four of them. So that has got four for Ella's bed and then four for our bed. So what I'm planning on doing on Ella's bed is having two of the white pillows from the bedding set and then two display pillows. So the two display pillows that I've got here are from a brand called Julian Charles which I just actually discovered on Instagram as well recently. Um, but this wasn't from their online shop, this was from Watt Brothers which I don't know if that's like a UK wide company but there's definitely loads in Scotland, there's a few in Glasgow anyway. So I got this from Watt Brothers. These are the Paisley Jacquard pillowcases and they just look really nice. They're like a lovely pattern, a really nice colour of blush and Ella's room is going to be like a blush and sort of like an oyster white colour just kind of theme. So I got that and then also to go on top of the bed is this gorgeous big bed spread. So I think this was the first thing that I'd actually purchased for any of the bedrooms actually. So this one here is a lovely kind of jacquard style bedspread but I just love a bedspread because it always makes your room look well put together even if the bottom sheet and like the duvet and everything is really crushed. If you've got a big bedspread on it always just makes it look like hotel bedding. So this one here should have been apparently £220 but I got it for £49.99 so yeah quite a bargain to get that because bedspreads are normally really expensive and this one is the extra large size which covers a king size bed but the reason why I got this is because I really love when it goes down both sides of the bed as well I just think it looks really quite kind of opulent and like the show homes really so yeah got that I should have mentioned as well that they were meant to be £50 for the set of two but I got them for 14 which was really good going. You can also get the bedding set of this as well but I just thought get the plain white one instead. And I also got Ella a 15 tog super soft 
double duvet. Um, this one's quite nice because I don't think it's like a quilted one, it's just like a plain duvet and it will sit nicely and nice and flat on her bed. Sometimes I hate the ones that are all pockets because you can see every mark of the duvet underneath. So this one was £15 and it's the super soft touch with the microfiber cover. Um, it's machine washable, which is really good for us, obviously, having a child in it. And then also to go on her bed, so I'm going to have the two big cushions behind that. And then I'm going to have these two display cushions. And this is part of the Julian Charles range as well. So these should have been £40 a cushion, so it's got the insert in it as well. £40 a cushion, and I got it for £9.99 a cushion. So I've got two of these to sit on her bed. And I love, because these are feather filled, you can kind of like sit them and karate chop them in the middle like that <laughs> so they sit like the pictures you see on pinterest just really nice love all that embroidery on the front of it the next little set i got here was from dunelm and it's from kiddiecare.com here it says but i bought it on the dunelm website and you're probably better looking at this little picture here it's just like a duvet set for charlie so what i'm going to plan and do is give him Ella's actual duvet from her bed because she's only had it like for a short period of time I'm going to wash it through and let him have the actual duvet and then like basically put on a new duvet set like a new cover and everything so it comes with the little pillowcase and then the duvet cover it just says night night on it but actually I quite like the inside of it if you look on the back here if it shows you that is on the back, if you see the flip side of it, it's all little stars. And I just thought that was really nice, quite plain. And it's quite difficult, actually, to get plain, small cot bed duvet sets. So I was quite actually quite fortunate to get this without it being too much fuss or, like, loads of colours. I think the only colour that is on it is the, yeah, is that little star there. On the whole thing, the only colour is that little star that you see above the eye. This doesn't have a price on it, but I'm pretty sure... It was about £20, which is quite good going. And then moving on to our bedding. So I've got this one here from Fifth Avenue, which is again from Dunelm. They've got so many choices from this brand. If you don't want to get a bedspread and you just want really nice like duvet cover, but I just wanted nice plain white stuff. And this stuff here is Egyptian cotton, plain 300 thread count bedding um, for king size bedding. And it was £35. And you need to buy the pillowcases separately. So here are the pillowcases here which were £8 each and they're an Oxford style. don't think there's a picture in the back, but the Oxford style basically means that if that is the actual pillow itself, there's an extra kind of border that goes around it. So I really like that because they tend to have pillowcases like that in hotels and I'm all about that hotel bedding life. So yeah, got these. And I also got these two pillow shams from here as well. Now this is actually the kind of colouring that I'm going for the bedroom, kind of like a silvery tone. So these are all part of the same set and I don't know what the range is called. I think it's just called the velour range. But yeah, we've got the matching bedspread and pillowcases. So the pillowcases or the pillow shams are calling them. Um, were £14 each and they just need to obviously put a normal pillow on them. In fact, are they the same size? Let's see. Are they the same size as a normal pillow? £48 by 74 48 by 75 Yeah, so I can probably, I can put a normal pillow inside them actually. So yeah, I don't need to buy another pillow for them. I thought I had to get a pillow for them to go on, but that's good. They'll just fit in the ones that I've already got. So I've got two of these. These were 14 each, and they're just like a lovely velour material. And they're kind of like puckered in the middle with all these little bits of embroidery. And then I've got the big bedspread, which was £75. A little bit steeper than something I would normally pay, but it's just so worth it because it just always makes your bedding look so well put together and like crush free. And then I went to look for some cushions or like actual pillows on basically online and there were a fortune everywhere and then I managed to track down a little offer that was on a voucher I think at the time and it was for these four white feather and down pillows so they're like a mix um, of natural and like synthetic fibres um, I'm not quite sure what the ratio is right enough, but basically I can plump these up the way you would do with a normal feather pillow, but it has got some of the microfiber filling as well. But I managed to get four for £11, which is like amazing value. You can't even get a normal 
like one pillow for anything less than £10 so it was an amazing offer that was on and I ended up buying two lots of these so I've got eight in total which will do Ella's bed and our bed so if I can still find the offer for that I'll link it in the description box so you guys can check it out but yeah save the fortune in pillows by going on there and that's everything I've got so far so yeah I'm just really looking forward to getting everything washed and ready to go I still need to buy a duvet for our bed and also a bottom sheet as well um, I think apart from that we are ready to go with the bedding which is quite good and um, we just need to wait obviously until friday when we get our keys and then it's kind of go 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 i think on the friday night we have got our blinds going in the saturday we're getting the carpet laid the sunday there's like different bits and pieces happening probably just like unloading a lot of like the stuff that we've got in like families houses or we've got stuff in storage as well so we'll maybe have to just kind of like go back and forward doing that and then on the Monday, we've got our tiling starting. The Tuesday, I'm getting my blinds, not my blinds, my curtains put up. And then on the Wednesday, my tiling will still be getting done. And then the Thursday, the tiling should be finished. Hopefully, that then means on the Friday that I can get my dining table delivered. And then on the Saturday, I think that'll be when the beds and the sofa come. So it's all going to come together quite quickly. Fingers crossed. It sounds really easy when I say it like that. But hopefully that is how kind of like smoothly it goes. And it means that when, when we get the keys on the Friday, this Friday coming, and then it'll just take us about a week and a day to kind of turn everything round and get everything put over. So yeah, we're going to have to probably pull a couple of all-nighters just like going back and forward once the kids are in bed at my mum's house. But yeah, apart from that, everything's kind of good to go. I can't wait to actually do some proper homeware shopping because apart from those kind of things, I've not really got any soft furnishings, no cushions or anything, but we'll make them separate videos anyway. But I hope you enjoyed watching the bits that I did get and you stay tuned for next week because I think that's when we'll be doing vlogs most days so that you can see the kind of like renovation if you like or the move in as it takes place and everything's starting to take shape. But if you're new then please do hit subscribe so you don't miss it, click the bell so you get notified and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!